Yo, what's up, fourth graders? Today, we're going to talk about using the fraction one half as a benchmark to compare other fractions. All right, let's get it cracking. First, let's look at one half. The numerator one is half of two. So we can find other fractions equivalent to one half if we simply find a number that's half the denominator. So let's look at four. What's half of four? Well, two is. So two fourths is equivalent or the same as one half. What's half of six? Three. So three sixths is equal to one half. We could actually make infinite amounts of equivalent fractions to one half by simply taking half of any number. But let's just try 10. What's half of 10? Five. So five tenths is the same as one half. So if you can get in the habit of always finding half of a denominator, you're gonna get good at seeing what one half is. Now let's try placing a fraction on the number line label with one half. Our fraction is 5 twelfths. First, look at the denominator to see that it's 12. Next, ask yourself, what's half of 12? Well, 6 is. So 1 half is the same as 6 twelfths. Now, we look at the numerator and see how it compares. And we see that 5 is less than 6. So 5 twelfths is less than 6 twelfths or less than a half. So it would go approximately just to the left of a half because 5 twelfths is 1 twelfths less than a half. Therefore, we'd say 5 twelfths is less than 1 half. Lastly, let's compare two fractions using this method of referring to 1 half. We're given 4 tenths and 9 fourteenths. Let's first start with 4 tenths. We look at the denominator and see that it's 10. So we ask ourselves, what's half of 10? 5. So 5 tenths is 1 half. Next, we see that the 4 in the numerator is less than 5 tenths. So 4 tenths is just to the left of 5 tenths. So we'll put it just to the left of 1 half. Next, we look at the other one, the other fraction, and we see the denominator is 14. So we ask ourselves, what is half of 14? 7. So 7 fourteenths is 1 half. So now we compare 9 fourteenths. 7 fourteenths and see that 9 fourteenths is bigger. So 9 fourteenths must be to the right of 1 half. Now we can see that 4 tenths is furthest left or it's to the left of 9 fourteenths. So therefore we can say that 4 tenths is less than 9 fourteenths. So anytime you have to compare a fraction or two fractions, a good mental strategy is to look at the denominator and take half so that you can mentally compare that fraction to one half. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. Created using Powtoon.